with a recipe that I think that you will absolutely love. These are delicious. We're making banana cupcakes, which you know cupcakes is still a really big thing. And uh, we're doing a wonderful banana cream cheese frosting. Put a little banana flavor in the cream cheese frosting. So this is a winner. Best part about it, we're using a box cake mix, which I love. This is one of those things that I, I usually have on hand, a few boxes in my pantry. And um, I'm always looking for ways to make baking and making desserts a whole lot easier. So for this one, I'm using um, actually the butter cake mix. So one box of butter cake mix. And uh, then we're going to jazz it up and give it some great banana flavor. If I can open the box. There you go. We did it. All right. Levi the dog was all excited to see us last night. He doesn't like it when we're, you know, like half of the family's there and half of the family isn't. He's going, where do they go? I, and then when we're packing up to go, does your dog do this? He's like, where are they going? And you better be taking me with you. And I'm like, no, I don't think the hotel or the, the dance competition would, would appreciate having you, Levi. So last night when we came in, he was just all over both of us, all over Ireland and I know. It's so cute. All right, now we're going to use three um, ripe bananas. And whenever you're doing baking with bananas, you really want to use those bananas that don't look so pretty on the outside, but they've got a lot of flavor inside. So this is the perfect way to use up um, those ripe bananas. And I should have started by putting the bananas in the bowl first, but that's all right. All right, so we're using three. That's basically going to give this butter cake mix some really nice banana flavor. All right, so in that goes. And you notice we've got a nice big bowl. Bob's a banana guy. He eats like a banana a day. Yes. I'm just going to use my fork to kind of get these going. And these are nice and soft. So they're not going to take too much time to mash up. How was your weekend, Miss Ann? Ann, I know, Ann, I walked in and she's like, I got my taxes done, the lawn mowed, my house cleaned, and I'm like, well, I didn't do any of that. Now you're making me feel guilty. <laughs> I was out of town all weekend. <laughs> yes, yes, but anyway, I know it feels so good to get some of that stuff done. All right, so I'm just mashing up the bananas a little bit, and the mixture will do the rest of it. And it's okay if there's a little bit of um, chunk to, to this. And this, boy, what also, not only does this, the bananas give um, this, you know, cake mix great banana flavor, but it also makes these cupcakes really nice and moist. And that's, you know, when you're baking cupcakes, uh, sometimes they can be a little bit dry. You know what I'm talking about? Because we're baking, they're, they're small. Um, and that's kind of, cupcakes can get a bad rap. I mean, they look so cute and kids love cupcakes. Um, but sometimes, yeah, it, rather than a whole cake is going to, you know, be a little bit moist. Well, the bananas in here really work. Now, keep, uh, speaking of keeping it nice and moist, we are going to use three quarters of a cup of buttermilk. So don't follow the cake box directions. Uh, just get the box of butter cake, but don't follow the directions. So basically, we had three mashed bananas, one teaspoon of cinnamon, three quarters of a cup of buttermilk, a third of a cup of canola or vegetable oil, and four eggs. They are wonderful, fresh eggs. Okay. And now I'm going to beat this all together using the mixer. I thought it was going to really storm around here over the weekend. I kept getting weather updates uh, from Fox 11, and I'm glad it, it wasn't too bad, you know. Didn't have to worry about any uh, weather on my drive home from Chicago, which is really nice. Also, driving back from Chicago is a lot nicer on a Sunday than it was well, going there on a Friday. It was kind of crazy, but coming home was really nice. I just want to beat this for a couple of minutes. This isn't a muffin, so I, you know, want to beat it like I would a cake mix. Make sure it's all combined. All right. Just got a few lumps from the bananas, and that's all good. 
preheated our oven temperature to 350. And because these are cupcakes, they, they bake a little bit quicker than a cake. So there you go, Ann. Uh, about, what, 20 minutes these took. Mm -hmm. uh, do the old toothpick test is the best way to do it. I've got my muffin tin lined with the paper liners. And love this. This is the best thing ever. Just these scoops. You want to fill, uh, when you're filling cupcakes, you want to do it about two-thirds of a way full. And these scoops just prevent you from having any drips, and they just work great. I'm doing a neat event that I wanted to mention coming up um, Saturday, April 28th. Winnebago County is doing this money-saving week, and they're doing all sorts of neat events that week to help you save money. And come on, who doesn't? Who doesn't want to save money? I've got a kid going to college next year. Um, and so it's, it's just a neat thing. I'm actually going to be part of a presentation uh, about, I'm going to cook up some recipes um, and show you how I save money in the kitchen. I'm not a big coupon gal, but there's certainly lots of ways that I save money when it comes to my recipes um, and cooking and feeding my family. So hope you'll come out and see me um, Saturday, April 28th. It's going to be a good time. Okay. So you get the idea. We fill these up, bake them for about 20 minutes, and now we want to let them cool and we're going to get to work on the frosting. And this is, I mean, who doesn't love a good cream cheese frosting? I know I do. So we're going to start out with a block and a half of cream cheese that we've just let soften a little bit. Thank you, Ann. One stick of butter. One package of powdered sugar, but I'm going to get this going first. Now, here's one of the special touches to this uh, frosting. One, we're going to do a quarter of a cup of sour cream, which is going to make it nice and smooth. And then one banana. And I really wanted to throw a banana in the frosting. Um, just to, you know, it's, it's going to be a banana cream cheese frosting, which, again, another great way, we can get rid of that little, to use up those bananas that just are a little... A little too ripe, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to mix together the cream cheese, one stick of butter, and it was 12 ounces of cream cheese, and one banana. Add a little bit of vanilla, about a teaspoon. Quarter of a cup of sour cream. And now, gradually, I'm going to add, this is one package of powdered sugar. This is why I have the apron on. And that's going to take a while to do its thing and kind of combine. Then I also, um, I like to, especially uh, when you're working with a cream cheese frosting, let it refrigerate just a little bit if you're going to pipe it onto the cupcakes and make it look extra pretty. Now, if you're just going to use a knife, you can just go right to it. But I'm going to move this over. And we just let this set up in the refrigerator. It, it, it just makes it a little bit easier to work with. So we've got our cupcakes all here, nice and cooled. And that's the other thing. When you're using cream cheese frosting, make sure those cupcakes are nice and cool. And here's our banana frosting that we uh, just let sit up a little bit in the refrigerator, so just to, so it firms up a little bit. We're going to do a piping bag because we're feeling a little fancy today. With the big star tip. Over Easter, we were uh, Ireland, and I were we were doing deviled eggs, and boy, you know, it just makes such a difference when it comes to presentation when you're doing, you know, uh, cupcakes or deviled eggs or you know something like that. Just it's just plastic bag, big star tip, and you really want to wow everybody, look like a rock star. This is the way to go. All right. Did 12 dozen cupcakes for a Girl Scout bake sale a while back. Never do that again. <laughs> thought my arm was going to fall off. All right. And Ann um, thought, wow, we could have thrown some chocolate chips in those with that batter, and that is a good idea. 
next time. All right. This is just easy peasy. And then you can decorate the top. I thought this was really something fun. Just because we want everybody to know what kind of cupcakes these are. With a banana chip. Just dried banana chips. So we can just stick one of those in each of the cupcakes. And there you go.